Alec Baldwin. Yeah. He asked you how to stay. How do you stay in shape? So he does 100 push-ups and 100 sit-ups a day. Yeah. So he came up to me and he was like, "What do you do?" And I and I didn't want to be rude and say like I just still have metabolism. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not I'm not in my mid 50s. <laughs> I just wake up like this. So, I, I, to make him feel better, I was like, oh man, I do 100 push ups and 100 sit ups every day. And he was like, got it. <laughs> and, then, and then he got uh, the, the Trump gig. And so I would see him every week. And every time we would run into the hall, he would be like, 100 a day. <laughs> yeah. like, and he started to do it. And he lost like 100 pounds. Yeah, he looks fantastic. Yeah, he's, and it says it's all because of me. <laughs>We're about to play a game of deception called True Confessions. Now we're going to need one more player to fill out this table. You know him from Saturday Night Live. Give it up for Pete Davidson, everybody. In front of each of us are two envelopes containing confessions. One confession is true, the other is a lie. Once you read your confession, the other two players have 60 seconds to interrogate you. And they have to guess if you've been lying or telling the truth. John, you'll go first. Pete, which envelope should John open? Wait, mine or his? <laughs> oh, number two. <laughs> yeah, I know. yeah, I know. That doesn't really matter. That's part of it. Yeah. Well, this could be the lie or the truth. We don't know. Cool. All right. You got to right. sell. Or he's selling already. Look at him. Are we doing it correctly? No, yes. This, is this mine or his? No, yeah. this is his. So what am I? Who am I talking about? You? You're, you're talking right. about you. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Do you get it? <laughs> yeah. I should read the email. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. <clears throat> My neighbor was arrested by the FBI for being a cannibal. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, what year was this? 2013. So cannibalism, totally illegal at this point. So, wait, <laughs> is this L.A.? New York. Oh. It, it, it... Oh, wow, yeah, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could actually okay, happen. Right, so yeah, the okay. FBI got involved. How did you know they knocked down the answer questions? Uh, when the, F the FBI was swarming our lobby and arrested this guy in a 6 a.m. raid. Now, did you have any clue that he was suspicious of anything? No, he never said to me in the <laughs> elevator, guess what? <laughs> I might be a candidate. <laughs> it's freaking me out because his voice is like what interrogation is. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I was there. Uh, yeah, I was there. Yeah, yeah. It was exactly. 6 a.m. <laughs> Was a pre-dawn raid. Did, yeah. Did the guy ever act odd at all? He was quiet. Yeah. But he was so hungry. What was his name? <laughs> I don't know his name. Oh. Oh, interesting. Didn't have a didn't have a nickname for him. You? No. It was a big building in New York, so I didn't have names for everyone. I say no because if it was LA, I would buy it. But I don't think people eating people here. I think it's the opposite. You think, I think it's the opposite? I think New York has got some crazy seedy stuff no, out there. No, I like that. They'll, they'll cut your head off here, but out there, they'll they won't cut it, it off and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> That's Hollywood. I know. <laughs> what, I, what are you going to say? I'm going to say no. I, don't uh, I think it's I, false. I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say no, it's false. It's true. No. What? What are you talking about? What? All right. What? All right. How did All I right. hear with it? Do you remember the cannibal cop? What? You don't remember? Who remembers the cannibal cop? You remember that story? All right. Okay. There was a cop, and he was, uh, he was, he was uh, online. He was on message boards. He'd go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat people. I'm going to kill and eat people. And then other people would go, I'm going to kill people with you and eat them, too, you know? And what they... message boards are you on? I'm on these, all right? Okay. My neighbors and friends are. Oh, OK. <laughs> so our neighbor was on a message board with him and was planning to kidnap and eat someone with the cannibal cop. They did a sting operation where an FBI agent pretended to be another interested cannibal who was also hungry for people. And then he was like, let's meet at 6 a.m. and we'll go get someone and eat him. My neighbor goes, yes. The FBI shows up at 6 a.m. and arrests my neighbor, and we have not spoken since. Wow! <laughs> Unbelievable. Well done. I, I did really tell you. Wow. I thought that one was out there. I mean, yeah. I thought that one was out there. Yeah. I did not see that. You probably told me this before. No, I haven't. I've lived a full life. There's many stories. Uh, 
<laughs> All right, it's, it's my turn. Which envelope should I open? Does it matter if one or two? Uh, one. Yeah. You sure? Two is pretty good. No, I All like right. one. <laughs> Here we go. I once went for a beer with a musician and woke up in a hotel room in Nashville. Where did the evening start? New York. <laughs> yes. It's true. <laughs> you have to ask questions. No. Nope. You have to ask it's questions. True. I know you. It's true. <laughs> you have to ask questions. Let's, no. let's it's just build time. I uh, think it's true. Uh, yeah, that's that's hard to yeah. true. You build both time. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, what, what instrument did the musician play? Yeah. <laughs> uh, mandolin. No, I'm just kidding. Mandolin. No, a guitar. Okay. Do you recall any of the trip from New York to Nashville? I remember, yes, getting to Nashville. <laughs> you recall, you came I, alert in Nashville. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I wasn't at Nashville. I totally remember that part of it. Yeah, and then I just didn't know that I was going to stay over there. Was this the first time you met this musician? No. Oh. Okay. Uh, is did, there is, is it a one guy a guy band? No, interesting. That's a good question. But it's yeah. not a, like a, no, like a one no, one man band thing. No, no, no it's, it's a duo. It's a duo. A duo. A duo. A duo. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. yeah. A mandolin and something else. But <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> No. You both were just asking me fake what you think it really happened. Of course. Of course. That's so true. <laughs> yeah, it is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah. well, like, you should even question yeah. Why would you even question Because it's just like, I, it just yeah. ended up happening. Yeah. Just, We've all been okay. there. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. How, uh, wait, so. It was, uh, a, so it, was it? it was John Rich, and he Who? came. A big and big rich. And rich. Who? Uh, big and rich. It's country music. Oh. They were on the. <laughs> They were on the so my reaction was time. correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. We're not guessing. Uh, it's your correct. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right, cool. uh, uh, Pete, it's your turn. I'm going to choose um, envelope number uh, one, of course. All right. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> okay, <but> not <laughs> one question. You're like, yeah, done. No. Yeah. I, I vamped. Uh, yeah, you did. Lauren Michaels and I went to Jamaica together on vacation for New Year's. <laughs> I really want that to be a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Lauren Michaels, who we uh, was uh, our boss, our yeah. boss, he started all boss. of our careers. Yes. Yeah, went to Jamaica with you. No, I, I went with him for New Year's. You yeah, went with P him. Yeah, P I don't know if I would. When I was 20, I don't know if I would ever, ever go to Jamaica with you. <laughs> I might as well go to New Nashville and wake up right. in Nashville. Yeah. Then I don't know There's if I really come back. There's really nothing in Jamaica that you haven't duplicated here in, in the United States. <laughs> that is um, totally wait, true. you were 20. Yes. Oh, 20 what years old. Year did, how old were you when you were, began being on Saturday Night Live? 20. 20. The first, first year? season. Yeah. First season, you're never really that close with Lauren, though. Right. New, New Year's, too? Yeah. Over it's the break. Holiday so this is Lauren? eight episodes in. Eight episodes years old. in. Yes. A man, your senior. Yeah. Goes, that kid, Jamaica. Yeah. No. I, no, I mean, because I could see maybe now you and Lauren maybe might yeah. vacation somewhere, meet up somewhere, but at the time? <laughs> I mean, well, I, I, Jamaica, the two of them walking around Jamaica. <laughs> I both, no. I want it to be true, but I'll go, I want no. it to be true, I'm saying no, not true. It is true. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I'm terrible at this game. Well, yeah. How? What do you mean? Oh, he grew me in the office. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, he was, I just, he just was like, I'm going to Jamaica, do you want to come? And I was like, yeah, dude. <laughs> Did you guys like stay next to each other in the hotel? Uh, yeah, I stayed. Well, I stayed. I didn't want to stay. He offered to stay where he was, but I didn't want to like you know be me around him. So I <laughs> stayed at the hotel ten minutes away. So like, because I would have been fired if I stayed. There. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, I have you to give him his that least, much his, weed. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, our thanks to John Mulaney, Pete Davidson. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, buddy. Thank you. Uh, uh, I, I want to show a picture because uh, Kim Kardashian was on our show a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And she showed us a photo of... Just show me... Explain this to me. So you're out to dinner with Kanye. <laughs> is, is that Timothy Chalamet and Kid Cudi? Yes. No. What, what, what was and this? And I for? am... That is really me. I'm not superimposed at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's an actual real photo, yeah. So, yeah, uh, it was uh, Cudi's birthday. Okay. And uh, he was like, hey, let's go to Nobu. And I was like, that's awesome. Uh, I'm going with, like, my manager and producer. I was like, cool, that'd be great. 
So I got there a little early so I could like give him my card, you know, so it could be, you know, I thought it was just like us three, you know. So I was like, oh, I you're, you're gonna treat with the credit card. Yeah, you know, pay, you know, sure. buy my boy birthday dinner. You that's know? nice. You know, because he's like the greatest. He's oh, he's the best musician that's ever lived, and yeah, and it's like an honor, right? That's, that's nice. So I get there and we're outside, and uh, you know, we order a couple things. I'm like, all right, this is cool. Everybody's like, you know, skinny and whatever. It's all fine. <laughs> <laughs> skinny. Yeah. It's like, I can dream for these yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this is chill. All yeah. right. Yeah. Then Timothy Chalamet shows up, and I'm like, all right, also skinny. It's going to be fine. <laughs> no problem. And then uh, Cuddy goes, hey, Kim and Kanye might come by. And I was like, that would be awesome. And then I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so they come by, and we're out outside, right? And then uh, Kanye goes, let's get the special room in the back. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, yeah, all right, <laughs> cool, sick. So we're sitting in there, and I'm like, I'm like, texting my my touring agent. I'm like, yo, you gotta book more shows. <laughs> uh, <laughs> getting real over here. <laughs> uh, so then, uh, you know, the waiter comes, uh, and Kanye's like, uh, what would you like to order, Kanye? And he goes, uh, I want that stuff that's not even on the menu, that crazy stuff. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> crazy stuff. <laughs> crazy stuff. Oh, I just want to say, like, Kim and Kanye, the cutest couple ever, very, very sweet people. Yeah. And, like, I had a really good time with them. Yeah, they're great, was, yeah. Yeah. But you so. still don't want to pay. I was like, dude, you're Kanye, you should treat. No, <laughs> I, like, it, it was fine. It was just like, uh, it actually wasn't as bad as you would think, but, you know, it's not like it's Applebee's, you know? <laughs> It's Nobu, it's you know, Nobu, which, yeah. which is like 77 Applebeezes. <laughs> uh, dude, <laughs> you just pluralize Applebees? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Applebeezes. Applebeezes. Uh, <laughs> tell me about what you're doing. I'm so excited about this. What are you doing with the new Mortal Kombat? How Mo are you involved with it? Mortal Kombat 11, uh, it's dude, my I favorite number. Kombat. Yeah, also, well, they are paying me to be here to talk about it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, uh, yeah, that's why. Oh, that's, that's really Thank you for being honest. Yeah, no, yeah. You know, Thank I'm you. trying to get a helicopter to Coachella. So, uh, <laughs> they were like, do you like this game? I was like, sure. No, uh, no more, it's actually really sick. Uh, there's, uh, there's this guy that I really like to kill in it because uh, he looks like a real douchebag. Uh, so there's this guy, Johnny Cage. Oh, yeah, Johnny Cage. Yeah, so he does splits and punches you in the d <laughs> is his special move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's and one of his he moves. just looks yeah. like everybody I grew up with in Staten Island, so I just kill that dude. <laughs> I enjoy killing him. Also, he has, a, like, a hot daughter, which is, like, weird, because, like, I'm lonely, and she's, like, not real. <laughs> <laughs> so he, there's that in the video game as well. Uh, sexual confusion. <laughs> sexual confusion comes with yeah. the new Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah. The oh, effects are, like, really good. <laughs> uh, uh, I, uh... I'm actually wearing, well, I have to shout out, Mortal Kombat sneakers. Uh, yeah, wow. they exist. Uh, wow. they're, yeah, I, they are real things. I like, uh, yeah. my, my dude I like is uh, Scorpion. You like Scorpion. Oh, I That's got you. Dude. I he heard like, you like Scorpion, so I got over. this for you uh, in case, you know, you want to have fun with your wife over the Easter break. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know if this is gonna fit her, yeah. but we'll no, see. No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right I meeting. mean, wear it for sex. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I understood. I understood the first time. Yeah. yeah. Thank oh, yeah. you. But yeah. <laughs> uh, you, but you do love video games. I heard you're building an arcade at your house. I am. I uh, so I live with my mom. Well, we bought a house together, but nobody believes that. <laughs> so I live with my mom, uh, kind of. Uh, so I I have like a basement. That's uh, mine. <laughs> it's like, that's, but that's like an apartment, so I live underneath her. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, that's like, cool. I'm getting like a little arcade set up down there, trying to make it, uh, trying to make a little mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you have? Do you have, like, what, what, what does that mean, an arcade? Do you have like a bunch of pinball machines? And stuff? Well, uh, no, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get like a, a Mortal Kombat machine. Yeah, no, 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 you're ready, though. You're so, you're good. The check, no, the check, hey, no, the check is cleared. The check is cleared. You're good. Yeah, you're good on Mortal Kombat. Okay, cool. But yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Uh, but so you get one Mortal Kombat machine, but when, what else? Well, I'm, I'm redoing my whole entire, first, so I, I was calling it the man cave, uh, but the Mulaney's told me that if I call it that, they will no longer be my friend. <laughs> uh, I didn't know. Do you not know, call the basement the, the man cave? 
Is that no, that's weird? What, some people do, but no, you can't. I get, yeah, so you now I call it the basement, like the Ohio State University. <laughs> yeah, it means something. The. Oh, I don't like that college. I just, you know. Right, right. It's, it's the V that's the important. <laughs> the v. No CSI. <laughs> Division three. <laughs> oh my gosh. Division three. D3, yeah. man. D3, baby. That's a real deal. Yeah. Are you going to charge people when they play the video? Hell game? yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> One of my many schemes I'm working on, Jimmy. Uh, Pete, yeah. we always love when you come here, and I'm, uh, I'll, I'll, get, I'll let you know what happens with this guy. Yeah, no, I yeah, appreciate it. Sure. Thank Pete you Davidson, me. everybody. Thank you very much. Saturday Night Live! I'm here with Pete Davidson! Thank you for doing Random Instrument Challenge with me. Oh, thanks for having me. I man. appreciate was, it, buddy. That was an experience I'll never forget. Uh, sure. before, uh, before we talk about anything, I, I wanted to... Uh, ask you about this because I heard about this thing that Alec Baldwin, yeah. he asked you how to stay, how do you stay in shape? So he does 100 push-ups and 100 sit-ups a day. Yeah. Uh, now that, have you heard that, and this, is it true that you do 100 push-ups and sit-ups? No, so I was, I was on set and Alec was hosting and it was a sketch where I had to be shirtless and like, you know, I, I, I guess like I'm, I'm a little bit cut or whatever, so he came up uh, there's no, like, nice way to say that. <laughs> okay? I've never said that. Yeah. <laughs> so he came up to me, and he was like, what do you do? And I, and I didn't want to be rude and say, like, I just still have metabolism. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not in my mid-50s. <laughs> I just wake up like this. So... I, I, to make him feel better, I was like, oh, oh man, I do 100 push ups and 100 sit ups every day. And he was like, got it. <laughs> and, then, and then he got uh, the, the Trump gig. And so I would see him every week. And every time we would run into the hall, he would be like, 100 a day. <laughs> yeah. like, and he started to do it. And he lost like 100 pounds. Yeah, he looks fantastic. Yeah, he's, and it says it's all because of me. <laughs> That is my favorite, dude. Uh, I, I wanted to hear about that story. Um, yeah. uh, I want your opinion on this. This is a very local story, but it's a big story. Yeah. New York City uh, is now legal. They're legalizing weed. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that? Any thoughts? And what? I think you can see it in my eyes. <laughs> I get how happy I am. Uh, I, think it, I think it's 12 years too late for me and my police record. But other than that, <laughs> I, I think it's a great thing. I think, like, you know, finally, uh, it's, it's a cool thing for the city. Yeah. Yeah. Will anything change for you? Well, you're a giant pothead. <laughs> No, I mean, uh, I'm just well, getting the contact. Yeah. I'm feeling something right now. But, but I, I, I just I find it interesting. I don't know how much will change, I guess. But... No, for me, nothing. <laughs> right, uh, yeah, yeah. But it, it is like, it's a great thing for, you know, I think for the city. So I'm excited. Are good. Uh, how's everything going upstairs on Saturday Night Live? Everything's great. We got uh, Carrie Mulligan and Kid Cudi this week, which is awesome. Yeah. 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 Uh, you've had a great season. You have a lot of good things uh, happen I, I want to talk to you about. But earlier uh, this year on SNL, you had a great sketch. This is you and Timothy Chalamet with our very own Questlove in a sketch. Yeah. That was a big deal. Uh, this was one of the most viral videos to come from SNL this season. Uh, congrats on that. Thank you. Uh, what was it like acting with Questlove? Oh, dude, total pro. It, it, wow. Also, yeah. <laughs> it's also like... Really cool when someone who like knows the show and watches the show and it, like is involved with it. Yeah. Uh, and it was just so fun to work with him. And he got to hit me, which was cool. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that part. Yeah. yeah. That... I asked him if he would really hit me, and he, he said told no. Me to hit him for real. Yeah. No. <laughs> He's like, I don't feel it. Hit me for real. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? You I can't... thought it would be cool for the sketch. You can't have Questlove hit you on national television. Yeah, but like you, I don't know. You can usually tell when it's a fake hit. I wanted him to. Hey, punch can I? The face. Can I get a? Can I get a go? Hey, 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 sketch. Come on. Yeah. It would be an honor. <laughs> uh, I, I, you have uh, uh, cool projects coming up. I got to talk about because I'm excited about this. Uh, the Suicide Squad. Yes. The trailer came out and it broke a record for like the most, like 150 million people saw this trailer. Uh, and here's my man right here from the trailer. Oh, yeah. Pete That's Davidson. Right. Come on now. That's your boy. Come on now. That's your boy. Come on now. Yeah. 
You play the character uh, Blackguard. Yeah. Uh, did you know anything about this character going in, or how did you get involved with the movie? I love, uh, you know, superhero movies, and I'm a huge James Gunn fan. And uh, yeah. I got a call from James Gunn. He was like, there's this role for you in the movie, uh, and you play a guy named Richard Hertz. And I was like, Dick Hertz, I'm in. Uh, I didn't even. Yeah, that's his real name. My character's name is Dick Hertz. Yeah, there you go, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I was like, dude, that's the greatest. That's so awesome. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he, he just, uh, he was nice enough to let me be in it, and like, I, I, it's a thing I still can't believe. It's like ridiculous. Like, how does it feel when that thing comes out? Because the world globally saw that thing and yeah. they're all loving it and so excited. Well, my family and friends, like, it was the first time they ever got like super excited for anything I've ever done. And I was like, <laughs> thanks. I just put a movie out in <laughs> June. Yeah. And the, yeah. That was about that was about me and the family. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't care about that one. They yeah. want to see this one. Yeah, but they were like, Suicide Squad, the two seconds, man. <laughs> Yeah, two seconds in the trailer, bro. Oh, dude, congrats. Yeah. Thank and I, you. I, I just want to say, I don't know if I told you, but King of Staten Island, you crushed it, dude. Oh, thank you. It was great, and there were some scenes where, yeah, and you're thank funny in the whole thank thing. Thank you very and much. And it was funny. Thank you. There was a couple scenes, I'm like, go, go, Pete, go, man. It was awesome. It was really great. I'm so happy for you. And uh, I got to talk about the Audible original, too, the uh, hit job right here. Yes. Uh, explain this to people. What is this, uh, what is an Audible podcast? So, it's an Audible original, so it's like a movie or a TV show for your ears. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the person from Audible backstage is like sweating right now. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> so it's it's pretty much just a show with Kiki Palmer, as you can see. Yeah. And uh, she gets a job at a company that hires uh, hitmen to kill the most the world's most dangerous men. And you know it's fun and, and it's dark and like it's it's funny. Yeah, it's really funny. And uh, I mean, if you're in it, it's funny. It's funny, and you don't have to see my face, which I heard is a lot of people's problem with me. No, so, what are you talking? No, no. So, so you get to just listen, and uh, it's really great. And it comes out August, uh, oh. August, no, April 22nd. <laughs> yes, I'm almost done. Uh, That's good. Yeah, and it is, yeah, there's 12 episodes. We just love having you. Pete Davidson, everybody. Pete.